finally get to use my stir plate. Yay! Okay, got a boil going. Ten minutes. Alright, our ten minutes is up. Let's put this in the Erlenmeyer flask and get it cooled. Okay, sanitize everything. that cool down and then we'll pitch our yeast and put it on the stir plate. Okay, we got that cooled down. It'll take about five or ten minutes maybe. So spray my scissors. Set this off to the side real quick. So, there we go. Leave that until tomorrow morning when I do my extract. So, that's it. Later. Today we are brewing a wheat beer from an extract. So, this is the first time that you all have seen me actually brew an extract beer. Everything up to this point has been all grain. So, the reason I'm doing this is because I am completely out of beer homebrew anyway and have been buying quite a few of the store-bought stuff, so... Um, I like mine better, to be real honest. So I'm going to brew a wheat beer, and I'm probably also going to put cherries in some of it, and some I've got some peach extract that I bought, and maybe even some elderberries. So we might try a combination of, you know, three different kinds and then just regular wheat beer, so stay tuned. Got my jug of wheat malt syrup and I have taken this off the burner so I don't have to worry about it sticking to the bottom and I know this pan seems a little overkill but the other pan I had I was like an inch from the top that was without even adding anything into it and I thought I do not want to boil over in the stove <laughs> alright got that all rinsed out Alright, I'll stir that real good and we'll put it back on the boil. Oh, I haven't had a chance to show you my stainless steel hop spider that I made. It's out of one of the canisters. So, it won't melt. Yay! Okay. We've got boil, so it's time to add the cascades. Sixty minutes on those. Okay, have fifteen minutes left, and now we are putting in the cascades.
Hold on.